Karin Scassell here on behalf of Makers Mercantile. Today I'd like to go over our specials and our newsletter for March 22nd, yes, March 22nd, 2022. So we're on the 22222 routine again. Although last month we had 0222022022. Now we have the, never mind, you know what I'm talking about. Let's get going. So today's special is um, for a wonderful yarn that is made in Norway. Um, Roma is the company that makes it and the yarn is called Finnelgarn. Here you can see this is the Finnelgarn. Um, and Finnelgarn is your perfect yarn for your color work, for your fair isle work, and so on. It is a 100% wool and um, it has that little bit of stickiness to it. So it makes it really, really great when you wanna do things such as color work and fair isle and so on. However, it is also wonderful if you wanted to make something that doesn't have that in it, such as this ribbed jacket here. And this is semi-felted, so it was machine washed just slightly after it was knitted, and that gives it um, a little bit of a tighter feel. And also you can just, it's just slightly felted, ever so slightly. So that is all done out of the fennel garn. There's lots of different ways that you can use it. The best thing about the fennel garn is that, well, there's a lot of best things, but one thing that we really like is that it comes on 50 gram balls, which are ready to knit right off of. So these are skeins, you don't need to wind anything, ready to knit right off the skein. And since it's a 50 grammar, if you're doing a lot of color work, like with lots and lots of different colors, and I can show you some pictures in a minute, then it really comes in handy to have 50 grams because you don't have to invest in 100 grams. Um, third of all, what I really like about this yarn is that it comes in so many colors and we actually stock over 120 colors is what we have in stock right now. So 120 colors of this, there's really no reason why you can't find a color or two or 10 or two dozen that you actually like that you could purchase and do something lovely with. So that is our Roma Fennel Garn. For those of you who are wondering, it is 187 yards to um, 50 grams. So that's gonna put it in um, at a fingering, slowly going into sport weight there, um, weight yarn. And it will work with just about any pattern that you find out there that is meant to be for a fair isle pattern and such. Now, I was just told um, about an hour ago from Kyle that they no longer call it fennel garn, they now just call it fennel. So, but the word garn means yarn, so I guess it's sort of redundant because it is yarn, and I guess you don't need the, the label yarn on there. You're gonna know it's yarn when you, when you purchase it. So now it's just called fennel. But anyways, we have a lot of it in stock. We have 120 plus colors for you to choose from, and we're going to offer it at 20% off through the end of March. So that gives you a little bit more time than just the end of the week or something. It gives you all the way through the 31st of March, and um, you know that's well over a week for you to decide. However, some of the colors are a little bit more limited than some of the other colors are. So if you have favorite colors that you want to purchase, I would get on it right away and get those in your basket um, as soon as possible. So I'm going to go over that one more time. Fennel Garn, 100% um, wool, about 187 yards to 50 grams, over 120 colors to choose from, and 20% off through the end of March. Okay, there we go. Now, what can you do with your Fennel Garn? Lots of things, and I had shown you a few things. Actually, here's a cute little hat that I didn't show you too. Um, this hat is uh, actually a design by Mary Jane Mucklestone, who's very well known for her Fair Isle and color work, and it's called the Weston Beanie, and it can be found on Ravelry, just so you know, but there you can see some of the color work. Now, if you aren't used to doing color work or you do color work and you have a lot of loose floats and you don't like them and so on, we have a class this Friday and that is with Kyle Kanicki and um, it's called Locked Floats. Now let me show you what Locked Floats look like. You're gonna love this. They're absolutely gorgeous. So this is the outside of one of Kyle's sweaters and you can see definitely um, color work, fair isle pattern. Now look at the inside. You would think you'd have all these floats but look at how nice the inside is. Can you see that? I mean it is 
It is so beautiful that you could actually wear it inside out, um, except for the seams, but he actually did a really great job on his seams too. So, um, but yes, locked floats, that's what it's all about. And Kyle is going to be teaching this class on Friday. There is still space available. So if you're interested in uh, learning how to do locked floats, now is a really good time to do it. Take the class and then, Buy yourself some of the, the fennel garn so that you can make yourself something with the locked floats. Now, if you have trouble carrying yarn in two different hands, two different colors, or you carry it in one hand and perhaps you can't keep the tension very straight or very straight, very even, um, Addie makes this cute little thing. It's called the knitting thimble. It's actually, it's called the knitting thimble finger ring. And Kyle's gonna put a picture right up here for us to look at. This is going to help you keep two strands of yarn separated on one hand while you are knitting with it. So if you want to give this little gadget a try, it's not very expensive at all. And, um, and it may save you a lot of time in the long run um, if you have uneven tension when you're doing your color work or Fair Isle or something. Now talking about uneven tension, when it comes to doing color work, the needle that we recommend is going to be the Addy Rocket Squared Needles. So the Addy Rocket Squared Needles, you can see up here, there's a squared needle. Um, they have a rounded square edge with little ridges on it. And the reason we recommend these are well, there's several reasons. First of all, the tip that is on this one is excellent if you want to go through two or three stitches or something like that. Um, it is not a super rounded tip. It's more of a sharper tip, but it's not too sharp so that if you actually use your fingers for pushing or something, you are not going to injure your finger from the sharpness of it. Second of all, it is or has a very nice chrome plating on it, and that actually makes your yarn slide along very nicely. But on this square needle, it also has these great little textured marks or these textured areas. And the textured areas, they actually help keep your yarn um, on your needle and separate it into place. So we usually recommend this needle for really slick yarns too because it just gives it the little extra um, hold on the needle yet is really slick and still allows you to push it. But it works that way too if you're gonna be doing color work because it sort of keeps it evenly spaced and for some reason when you're using the square needles, your stitches end up being more even, especially when it comes to color work and you have to manage the tension of two different yarns. For some reason, it just ends up being more even, which is really, really great. And then of course you have the, um, <clears throat> the beautiful cords and you have the wonderful uh, joins that are really smooth. You won't feel a, th a thing when you go over these joins. They come in lots of different lengths, lots of different sizes, and um, they just end up being the perfect needle for this type of knitting. So we do carry the whole range um, of the Scassell Rocket Squared Needles. They're made by Addy in Germany, and you can find those all on our website, and there'll be a link down below. So ideas? for using uh, fiddle garn. We have a lot of great books that are by one of our favorite designers, Kate Davies. So Kate Davies um, uh, in the last 10, 12 years has come out with a whole range of really, really beautiful books. Um, some of them, you know, there's a lot of Fair Isle patterns in there. Uh, she is from Scotland. And, um, but there's also other patterns that are not Fair Isle. You know, regular, um, like little jumper here that is done out of a solid color. But once again, a lot of Fair Isle. And she has some beautiful, beautiful pieces in her books. We do try to keep as many books in stock as we can at all times from Kate Davies because we really like her books. They're full of value, chock full of value. Um, when you buy a book, you get so many patterns in there, and each pattern is is better than the uh, better than the next. Um, I don't think this. Let me see. I'm trying to see here. Oh, here's a beautiful Fair Isle pillow pattern. There's another um, jacket that is done. However, that is a chevron stitch, and I'm pretty sure that's not Fair Isle, but I'm pretty sure you could use fennel garn for it. Same thing with these stripe pieces, um, and so on. Anyways, we have. A whole selection of her books um, uh, on our website. Here's another one. It's called The Highland Way. So there you go. That's another book. So that's what we have going. Everything this week is pretty much Fair Isle color work related. And uh, we want to get you encouraged to do some color work. You know, some of these pieces do take a little bit longer. And so maybe if you get started now, you can have something done by the holiday season. Um, there's a lot of great pieces out there for the holidays too that 
that involve color work and so on. So invest in a little bit of fennel garn, get some needles, have some fun, maybe grab a book while you're at it, and uh, yeah, and then get knitting, and then we'll see you again this coming Friday. We'll have another video, and like I mentioned, Friday is the uh, day for the uh, Lock Floats class, so if you're still interested in that, go ahead and get registered for that as well, and we'll have another newsletter for you. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, be happy, and we will see you on Friday. Ciao.